Good evening, I'm Phil Blauer. Breaking news, Chula Vista police are at the home of a missing Chula Vista mother right now. Officers have served yet another search warrant marking 24 in this case. This comes today marking four months since Maya Miete disappeared. Sky Fox over the home minutes ago where her husband Larry is living with their three kids. Now police haven't said exactly what they're looking for. Fox 5's Kasha Gagorczyk is live at the scene with what she's learning right now. Kasha. And Phil, they likely won't be able to tell us exactly the details of this search warrant since that is all pretty privileged uh, information and sensitive to the investigation. But we are awaiting an update from a lieutenant with the Chula Vista Police Department. We were told uh, that we would get an update within about 30 minutes. We still haven't received that update, but I can tell you in just talking with him briefly, he confirmed this is a search warrant being served. Uh, no arrest being made this evening uh, to his knowledge. And as you mentioned, this marks more than 20 search warrants uh, served in this case, but only the second here at the Miliete residence where Maya lived with her husband and children. I'm going to give you a look around here as well, um, if we can, sorry, uh, be back out here live just to show kind of the amount of people that are all out here. Uh, a lot of people we spoke with don't even know May personally. They're just heavily invested in this case, as we've seen over the months with the countless searches and rallies in her honor. A lot of people just feel very connected and very invested in bringing her home or having any kind of a break in this case. We see a lot of neighbors outside and again, just people who have heard the news that this is happening and they're here this evening awaiting an update just like we are at this moment. And of course, you can see all the other uh, media crews and and whatnot um, out here as well, Phil. Obviously, as you mentioned, Sky Fox overhead as well. Today, marking the fourth month to the day uh, that May was last seen. Chula Vista Police also re releasing just this Tuesday a big update the same day that there was a rally outside the headquarters uh, that they are working diligently with the FBI, FBI, NCIS, and even the district attorney on this case, Phil. So again, we are uh, anticipating an update here shortly from the Chula Vista Police Department, uh, but we can tell you as of right now that search warrant is actively being served and the lieutenant does say that the husband and children are home and obviously cooperating with this. Phil, we'll send it back to you for now. You know, Kasha, very quickly behind you there is that big white evidence van. So far, I haven't seen them load anything into it, but they do have it on scene, and they used that the previous time they were there. Also earlier, we saw the garage door open for a second, and it appeared that a police dog was searching the vehicle with the uh, Malete uh, license plate on it, that big Lexus. Uh, they had impounded that earlier, but somehow it got back into uh, the family's possession. Uh, did you see any of that? I also saw what looked to be a battering ram there in the front of the house, but since somebody did cooperate and open the door, thank goodness the police did not have to use that. Yeah, that's actually still on the driveway. Uh, we can see it there. Now the lieutenant is walking out, so let's get closer here. Hopefully our service stays well. Uh, it's a little spotty in this neighborhood. Excuse me, ma'am. We're going to squeeze right behind you. That's all we need. It's going to take literally two seconds. So. Can you just hang on one second? And Phil, we're just getting all set out here. Uh, just stand by as we all get set in here from the lieutenant here. So we're just we're still conducting a search uh, with relationship to the search warrant. Um, we're going to be collecting evidence, and it's going to probably take us the next hour or two over here. And that's really all I can provide as of now. Can you so, tell us anything you. about arriving? So what are the canines ahead. trained to search we're for? We're going to go ahead and pull the van in, so we're going to ask you guys. Can you give us what are those canines trained yeah, to search Lieutenant for? Lieutenant Frank Giaime, G-I-A-I-M-E. <laughs> Was Thank there you. any force used to enter the residence this evening? If I can have you guys. Okay. All right. Uh, Phil, you just heard that very, very, very brief update from the lieutenant. They're not what we were expecting. Uh, definitely expected to hear a lot more details there. Uh, really didn't tell us anything that we didn't already know. Uh, you might have heard me try to ask if force was used. Um, didn't answer that question or what they're searching for here this evening. Uh, they did ask us to just move back right now. And to answer your question from earlier, Phil, that evidence van here, you can see right behind me, um, we have not seen anything move into the van or be taken into the van, anything like that. I did see the dog that you mentioned, obviously, coming in and out with actually a customs uh, border protection agent. That dog has since left. And the garage was open uh, for a short, short amount of time, and we did see the vehicle that you mentioned, Phil. And Kasha, let me say that the fact that they're backing this van 
into that area now tells me that perhaps that they're going to load it up with some things and maybe even come out of the garage. So stick as close as you can there to the side of that. In fact, we know that uh, public property there in front of that house uh, on the sidewalk here are more than welcome to do that. But I think that's exactly what they're planning to do, and that's why they're backing that van in there because they're going to bring some stuff out at some point. So uh, I know that you'll continue to stay on top of this. And, of course, we'll have yeah. a full report tonight uh, at 10 o'clock. Kasha, go ahead. Oh, yeah, Phil, I was just going to say that uh, kind of ram that you mentioned, obviously the officer just picked up, um, and that, that is a question that we wanted and intended on asking was, was the kind of nature that they served this warrant if, if anything uh, happened. Um, we had mentioned one neighbor earlier might have mentioned that they saw guns drawn or whatnot. We wanted to confirm, you know, the nature in which police arrived, but obviously we were not able to do that. And you just described exactly uh, what's happening. You know, the vans now in the driveway, um, the Miliette license plate vehicles in there, as well as May's Jeep is also at the back of the garage from what I was able to see. Uh, but again, nothing that we've seen come out of the the house thus far. We also hope to speak with um, Mary Chris, May's sister and, and her brother-in-law. We're told they're on their way here from Riverside County, so hopefully we'll speak with them. And uh, of course, any updates that come from the police department between now and our 10 o'clock newscast, we will certainly uh, bring you the very latest online as well. Kasha, we're going to stay with this just for a couple of moments, if you don't mind. Obviously, there's a lot of people who are very interested in this case. It's yeah. very ironic that today, again, is the four month sort of unfortunate anniversary of the last time that May was seen uh, in that house or in and around that house. So the timing of this is very interesting. As we mentioned, this is like the 24th warrant now served in this case. Uh, they have served, I believe, at least one there that was back in January. And that's also when they took the, uh, the Lexus out of the garage. Also, they impounded it looking for potential evidence in this case. So it looks to me as that they move that van forward a little bit so they can pack, uh, pack that car with whatever they're doing. I would surmise at this point that some of that evidence, uh, potential evidence in this case anyway, maybe either coming out of the garage if they open the door or perhaps through the front door. Uh, when Chopper, uh, when the Sky Fox rather was uh, overhead earlier, we did see th uh, the children who we hadn't really seen at all. They were playing in the backyard earlier and they were being watched over by an adult. So it was nice to see at least them being kids in the face of what's been going on in this situation now for, as we mentioned, uh, four months to the exact day. Kasha, anything else that you're seeing down there at this point? Yes, uh, well, perfect timing, Phil. Uh, if you can hear any of that back here, um, they've just uh, began chanting a little bit justice for Maya. Um, you know, as we've been saying throughout the evening and really throughout the last several months, the interest in this case, the investment in this case from the community, even people who didn't know May personally, uh, is just tremendous. So that is what we're seeing out here is just a lot of people whether they know her or not, whether they even live in this neighborhood or not, after hearing that this was happening tonight, they're here uh, all eagerly awaiting any kind of an update as well. Have you seen any sign of Maricris or Richard uh, Droulet yet? I know they have to come down from Riverside County. Have you been able to see them? Uh, not yet, Phil. We are told they are on their way. Our coworker Jeff McAdam, uh, as I've been mentioning throughout the evening, really a lot of us, you know, the whole team at Fox 5 has been following this so, so closely. And so it's really a team effort. And uh, Jeff's been helping me out. He spoke with them personally. They're en route here to San Diego County, and they will be here this evening, we're told. Uh, but they are not here just yet. Are you within reach uh, very close to any of the people that have been watching this unfold this afternoon? Is there any way that you can get maybe any of them to talk to you very briefly on camera while we're waiting to see if anything comes out? Yeah, I'm looking around here. There was a woman I tried to talk to uh, earlier and um, oh, she's across the street. If, uh, if Ellie, if we can get across the street, we'll talk to uh, this woman that we chatted with earlier. She's been pretty willing and um, has been very invested in this case as well. Ma'am, do you mind if I speak with you again okay. about it's time to come back since uh, I know our, our service kind of dumped out a little earlier. So I was speaking with you earlier. Remind, remind me your name. Manita. Manita. Manita was nice enough to chat with us uh, mm -hmm. earlier. And Manita, I just um, want to hear, mm -hmm. you have such an interesting story, you know, mm -hmm. as do a lot of the community members here about why you've just felt so connected to this case. Mm -hmm. So I first heard about a story early in January, and I just wanted to do what I could to support the family because I just could sense uh, that their hearts were aching, and I, I just couldn't dismiss her story. I, I, I wanted to do what I could to support her. And you said you've been a part of how many searches now? Eleven. And that's not enough. Um, it won't be enough until we bring Maya home. 
Absolutely. All right. Let's take a look back here. Thank you so much, Manita. Um, we can see some boxes coming out here, Phil. One, two, three have come out of the van. I believe they're uh, empty and perhaps going to be taken inside uh, to be filled uh, with something. So again, we're keeping an eye on this very um, active and developing evening here outside the Miliate family residence. And Manita, thank you again for speaking with us. Really appreciate that. Um, but Phil, uh, you just might have caught a glimpse. We saw a couple cardboard boxes come out of that um, white van there. All right, uh, Kasha, I'm going to let you and Elliot uh, sort of uh, re-improve your position there because, again, this may take a little while, but I, I would assume that you probably want to be back on the other side of that van. And, of course, if anything happens between now and the end of this uh, show at 730, we'll be back to you. And, of course, as I mentioned tonight, at 10 o'clock, you'll have a full report.